it. No, I didn't get charged for it. Hey. I took it off. Open it. Ah! Woohoo! Yay! Free cool. croissant. It's not. It's not focusing. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Hello. My name is Jake, and I am a ventriloquist. <laughs> um. Hello. I thought that I would um, vlog today. I've tried to vlog a few days in the past since we got here. Like I've tried three separate days to vlog, but I just don't know. Like I don't know what I vlog. Like we're just settling in. Like I'm, I'm Strug City, and I just thought I've got quite a few updates. So I felt like I could vlog today. And we don't have a coffee machine yet, and we don't only have like cafeteria coffee in the morning. But the coffee isn't very good, and it makes us sad. So Whoa. because it's a Friday. I ordered some coffee in because it's the weekend. Is that TikTok style coffee? Whoa! Whoa! So yeah, we got. Uh, I got like a Spanish style ice latte, and Jake got a pistachio latte. But yeah. Everything gets delivered here. Pretty peculiar. Okay, I thought you were gonna add more to that. But anyway, um, I will bring you along on my day. We're just gonna have a coffee. Jake's gonna go and get his hair cut. And yeah, we'll just catch up. What's it taste like? Odd. <laughs> I wanna go. It's not coming out. Yeah, all the syrups at the bottom. Or the pistachio paste, I don't know what they've used. Pistachio paste, well. My my condensed milk's at the bottom. I'm gonna save my condensed milk, okay. Sorry, I put the towel back on because it fell off earlier. It's just thick, it just needs to be mixed. So I just got like a big old glugle of condensed milk. That's really nice. Okay, so I've just got ready and Jake has went to go and get his hair cut and then we're going out for breakfast. This is actually really cute. It's um, it's like a dessert restaurant and or like a, re a dessert cafe and the message was on Instagram and they were like, would you like to come along, you know, to like post a couple of photos and stuff. And I was like, it's the first time that somebody's asked us in the buy and I just gonna get some chocolatey goodness and then Jake's gonna head to work and I'm gonna head to the gym and do a lot of thinking so basically it's been a while so I'll just have a little catch up with his so basically as you know finished my degree and had um a bit of money saved up over um lockdown because obviously we couldn't do anything so came out here um, and the plan was I am going to be doing online coaching and nutrition coaching um, which is actually available at the moment like if you are interested send us a DM on Instagram because I'm kind of doing it a little bit but I don't want to like massively advertise it before I have the capability of helping loads of people so um, I'd rather know that I can help a handful of people and be able to put all of my energy into those people than just be like woo like everyone come to me and I, that that wouldn't be a good service like i just wouldn't be that wouldn't be worth it that wouldn't be right in my opinion so yeah so i'm doing that and also doing instagram as a job but i'm not really that busy and obviously jake is working every single day of the week and he's having a great time and i love it like I would not want to do his job seems too stressful for little old me but i love to see how like motivated and excited he is about working and i want to be busy as well so i've all i've got i've got a job that i'm starting next week at a um girls only gym and it basically does classes so it's called the peach lab and i'm going to be doing four classes a week so i'm going to be working two days a week doing a class in the morning and the afternoon and I'm honestly so happy about this like it literally is gonna complete my life all I want is to just 
have that kind of routine, be able to go and make relationships with people in the form of like exercise and be able to help people out and just I always loved going to classes and I loved having a coach there and I loved the coach coming over and helping so to know that that's going to be me I'm just really excited about it so yeah like the first like I know that people are probably thinking like Ailish what are you actually doing over there like it looks like you're on holiday because like I am and like um, but like I, I am and I want to be and I'm just having fun and and there's loads of deals on at the moment because of COVID so everything's really cheap like most of the things you've seen us doing have cost like 20 30 pound like everything is really cheap at the moment so yeah um and basically coming out of five years of education i didn't want to just hop straight into working 24 7 because that would have completely destroyed us i would have been i would have had a mental breakdown not in like a dramatic way in a way that like i can't put that much pressure on myself so I'm going to start off with just a few bits and bobs I'm doing, then I'm obviously introducing going to classes and then I'm going to slowly build up my weekly kind of schedule <sighs> and I think that's probably going to be the best way to do things so that I don't have a mental breakdown <laughs> and so that I am all good but yeah I've tried like I said earlier on I have tried vlogging a couple of times but I've just found it difficult because I'm like I'm not sure what you're even interested in but yeah so today I'm just finishing off getting ready my hands are so orange and then I'm gonna head to meet Jake at the restaurant because he is currently getting his hair cut so he looks nice and handsome and then yeah so I guess I'll see you when we go to get our chocolatey breakfast I'm back we now have our breakfast lunch desserts <laughs> don't go sideways how are they gonna say it sideways I don't know is it is it focused I think so <laughs> this is so intense Okay, that was much harder yeah. to cut with one hand than I thought. Why are you talking so sexy? <laughs> He's got his chocolate sexy voice on. Oh yeah, that was much harder to cut than I thought. <laughs> take it, take a bite. Mm. We are chocolate wasted. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Also, could have sworn that's a background delicious. Anyway, that was a lot of chocolate. Lot. It was good, but I'm in a lot of pain right now. But I stopped when I needed to stop, and that's the most important thing. <laughs> and now Jake's. <laughs> when the fun stops, stop. Now Jake is going to go to her, and I'm going to go to the gym. So, I was struggling there, I was like, uh, uh, <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> um, but the, the waffles and the pancake came with fruit, so it was kind of a little bit healthy. <laughs> I'm at the gym for the first time now, actually, since Monday, and it's Friday today, so I've not been to the gym this week because I have started my period. I started my period three days late, and sorry if this is TMI, but like it's my life and I'm talking about it. Um, I've got a really predictable, like, 28 day cycle, so it was really strange to me that it would be like um why is me oh it's because my car isn't in park i was trying to take the key out um so it was really strange that me um period was three days late because it's never late and when we got here it was fine it's so bright but i don't want to put my sunglasses on because that feels a bit too bougie to be talking to us and um yeah anyway so i'm trying to figure out why it happened what what made it happen because obviously that that to me signals that something's a bit amiss on the inside if it was three days late like obviously if it doesn't happen again next month that'll be good but I don't know why it happened because the first one I had when I the first one I had when I got here was fine. So yeah, and basically the reason I'm saying this is because um it was horrible. It was like so much more worse than normal. Like I literally had no energy to even breathe. Never mind exercise. So like today is going to be my first workout since then and i've just had a nice chocolate sugary breakfast so it should make for a 
decent workout like I'm not gonna go crazy I just want to get a little bit sweaty and um, yeah but I basically just done a little um, shopping list because well, for breakfast this week um, Jake is gonna have burritos French toast and swap between those two. I have banana on toast most days because it's easiest. Like banana peanut butter toast. And then I thought maybe soft boiled egg avocado toast. Maybe Jake could have that for work. I don't know how well avocado on toast would like last. Because burritos and French toast are pretty you've got to think of things that you can make in the nighttime that they'll be fine the next day. And then for um dinners, I'm gonna make fajitas, tuna pasta and Thai curry. We don't go too far into the future here because meat doesn't last very well either. So the food shop basically is kind of like, a, you gotta do two food shops in a week. I get stressed out. I love food and I wanna enjoy every meal and I don't just wanna end up throwing things together. So I like kind of wanna plan it out, but I'm not even wrote down lunches. So I thought that I was ready to leave, but it's all just going a little bit tits up. I'm just about to head off to the shop. I am so, tired like i literally just feel like i'm gonna fall asleep like my eyes are sore and stuff so i might go and get a coffee because it's it's 20 to 4 which is quite late to be having coffee but i think i'm gonna do it though <laughs> i've never came across this before in the uk so like i might be wrong i'm parked in c8 but basically um in the car parks in Dubai, they literally um, have these green lights. So like, they've got lights at the top so you can see whether there's car parking spaces so you don't just have to drive down. You can miss, you can miss all the roads that don't have them. For example, over there, all of them in the distance are like, oh, it's not gonna, so like all of these red lights mean that the full so you would just drive past until you can find some like green ones which i think is really nice this is probably in the world somewhere else but it's pretty cool this is the first place i've seen it a quick update is that i made it to the mall i returned my stuff and it was really busy because there's a sale on because it's bank holiday weekend and it was like so tempting to get stuff i was like no girlfriend you need to save dollar because we're moving into an actual flat soon. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. I'll speak about it in a bit, um, if not, and just like update you and tell you about that because I'm not sure if I have. I guess I'll just get rid of this part if I've already spoke about it, but if I haven't, yo. Anyway, now I'm at Lulu and I'm going to do our food shop. So yeah, girl, let's do it. While I went out to do the food shop, Jake went on a run, so I'm just making tea for when he gets back. So I'm going to make some kind of like quesadillas i have onion mushroom black beans and sweet corn in here i'm gonna add some mint and then i'm gonna make quesadillas by putting it in a wrap and then i also bought some nachos and i'm starting to watch the vampire diaries again because i know that it's like coming off netflix but i thought like if i use a vpn it'll still be on like a different country's netflix so i'll still be able to watch it but I'll show you how these quesadillas go because I think they're going to be pretty cute. <laughs> I love you. I made quesadillas. La 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 <laughs> So I'm all red and tired and... Beautiful yeah. and handsome. Yes, yeah, sexy. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Mm. So, um, yeah, I told... Uh, wait, no, yeah, I think I told... I told the vlog what went into the quesadillas and they are delicious. I've already had one. I was about to wash the dishes before Jake came in. And like I said, we're having them with nachos and it's gonna be so freaking good. So in the car earlier, I said about um, renting and I couldn't remember whether I spoke about it earlier or in the vlog or not. So I'm just gonna talk about it again now. But basically, we're going to move into a place hopefully in the next two weeks or next yeah weeks. yeah mid-november um and jake told us yesterday that you only have to pay five percent or not today you only have to pay five percent security, security deposit. deposit if it's unfurnished ten percent if it is furnished 
which is interesting because on ours in in Newcastle, our flat was, it was six. One month. It was six hundred pound a month, yeah. and it was six hundred pound deposit. Yeah, yeah, so it was uh, twelve. So is that what kind of percentage is that then? Seven. Just under ten. Half. Interesting. So it's like similar about tobacco. Yeah, but most of the places at home are furnished. Oh, you can get my nipples in it. I got the, not the titties, but yeah. So um, we're looking. We're gonna hopefully go on a couple of viewings to move out of the hotel as soon as possible. And my friend's gonna. My friend's gonna help us with that. Uh huh. So all good. Um, that's basically it. So we had with Indians. We had quesadillas. It was <laughs> quesadilla. It was delicious. Yay! 15 out of 10. Validation! <laughs> Vindication! And <clears throat> all we're gonna do for the rest of the day is just snuggle. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got a lot in my shirt. Oh no, it's Saturday, it's Friday! Gotta get down on Friday. I thought it was Saturday. No, it's Friday. Oh, that's excellent! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, okay, everyone, thank you for watching this vlog. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you, random citizen. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye! Bye.